Hello guys, welcome to SM280AS and uh, today we're going to be doing a Windows 10 installation video and uh, yeah, to begin with we're just going to have to power on our PC so we need to explain that to you guys but yeah, just locate your power button and your PC should be go begin booting so yeah, uh, once you're on the screen just tap F10 or whatever it says your boot menu is so now in the boot menu you want to locate where your Windows installation file is. So um, we've installed on an ISO file which is located on a CD. So you want to just tap CD-ROM and uh, this is our CD drive so we're just going to tap enter. And then I'll say um, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. And then you'll see the Windows logo, it'll disappear and they'll have this little flashing line in the corner. Don't worry guys, we're stuck on this for a while but just got, gotta wait here until the flashing line disappears and it'll take a bit so I'll be back uh, after it's right, done. The Windows logo is back now so you're just going to see a little spinning icon and yeah. This is after the little line appearing in the top left corner so you're just going to have to wave it and um, you should see a dialog box appear and yeah once you got to this part guys it's pretty easy now. We got past the tricky bit so we're just going to have to select our language settings here so language to install we're going to uh, select is uh, English United Kingdom and keyboard input method also United Kingdom and yeah if, if that's okay guys with you we'll just move on to the next step click next and you'll see this little button by here and it says install now so just um, click install now I guess so I'll notify us the setup is starting just gonna have to wait here for a bit we've got a retro uh, loading icon Alright, so this is the Activate Windows screen, um, if you guys haven't got a product key, you can hit, I don't have a product key right here, but um, if you do have a product key, you can go ahead and enter it here. For the purpose of the video, I'll go and enter it later, so we can uh, go on with the next steps. Alright, so um, this is the Operating System screen. Uh, this is the edition of Home, Windows you want to select, so you have Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Home Single Language Edition, or Windows 10 Education, or Windows 10 Pro. Uh, well, home use, you be better off just selecting Windows 10 Home, because um, it's pretty much just this, just this box standard Windows 10 version you want. It doesn't really have all the other features, and it might end up slowing down your system if you go with Pro, because there's so many other features, so you just want to go ahead and... Uh, click home and click next all right so uh, this is our standard uh, license terms so we want to go and read all of those definitely going to read all of those and uh, hit I accept the license terms and just press next so this is a really important step in the process. Uh, it tells us what type of installation we want. So you can either go ahead and upgrade, install Windows, keep file settings and applications. This is recommended for users on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or Windows 10 if you're upgrading to a new version of Windows 10. But most users will probably want to hit a custom because the upgrade could in, like end up with errors and stuff and it's much more prone to errors. If you do have Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or 10, you could just upgrade it. But because you've gone through the hassle of doing it from the from fresh, you might as well just go ahead and click custom, especially if you're building a new computer. You want to go ahead and click custom, because that's the best bet. Alright, so we'll click custom, and here we have all our partitions in our PC. So, as you can tell, this is my recovery partition, and it has 9.8 GB free. Sorry, 2 GB free and that is definitely not enough to install Windows 10 from so we're going to have to go ahead and go on partition 2 uh, it has a total size of 250 GB and um, around 130 free space GB so um, that will be more than enough to install Windows 10 from so we want to go ahead and click this and uh, hit next and he'll notify us they'll create a windows.old folder we won't be able to access our older operating system but we will be able to access our older files Let's go ahead and click next. 
Alright, so this is the biggest chunk of the installation pretty much. Um, this is copying our files and everything and this will take a while guys, so be patient and uh, be back after a, an hour or so maybe, after it's finished getting our files ready for installation. And yeah, see you then. So guys, we're at the end of the getting the files ready for installation phase, so I'm 96% and yeah. The other two sections, installing features and installing updates, will take root, will be uh, really quick, but this is the main part of the update. And also, I have not encountered any restarts yet, so we probably will at some point, and I've come to the restart system. And yeah, this is just the final part. We're on 98 now, 99, now yeah. yeah. Alright, we're 100% and it's just installed all the features for us. As I said, they would be really quick. Just take that one off for us and it's going to install all the updates. I don't think this will complete right now because I'm not currently connected to the internet because you won't be connected to the internet at this point because you haven't got any operating systems installed. See the um, progress bars and um, signs put up at the bottom here as well. So it's finished installing all the updates and we might be tempted for a restart in a second. Yeah, as, as I thought, we're being prompted for a restart, so we'll just automatically restart in a couple of seconds for us, so we can just go ahead and click restart now. We'll just wait for a second. Alright, so our system's just shut down, and uh, it's going to be ready to go back up again. Alright, we're at the screen again, but don't hit F10 or do anything else. It's already installed the main part of the operating system for us, just go ahead and boot it into Windows 10 setup again. Alright, you see the Windows 10 icon uh, appear, so yeah. Um, here's the progress bar, and uh, just gonna wait a second. I want to skip this track so we'll press any key. We don't need this track at this point, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and continue. And um, this will be pretty much it. Alright guys, we're at the Windows logo again and it's just telling us to start new services and um, this will take a while. We've pretty much installed all the operating system onto the computer and at this point you can take out your CD file because we've already installed the whole ISO installation file onto the hard drive so you don't need any removable devices right now. So I'm just going to tell you this game the device is ready and this is, this is going to take a while as well so I'll uh, see you after this then. So guys, we're here after the starting services so I'll just go ahead and mute that. Yep, so he, we're here after the starting services. Um, logo and it did take quite a while and um, we have multiple other loading menus as well so let's get started. I'm just going to choose uh, uh, so which region we want so we're going to go ahead and click the United Kingdom and I already know just because I installed it using the United Kingdom package so I'm just going to go ahead and click this just a moment. 
So select so people out and I can them and do this. No, I would not like to have another second people out. So all we got at this point, we're pretty much good to go. We finished this on Windows 10 and we're unlucky to encounter any errors from this point forwards. But um I am gonna skip this part for the this video, so yeah. We'll connect later. Uh, continue with limited setup because I'm connected to the internet right now. No, I'm just gonna skip this part of the video because I'm just putting my username and stuff, so I'll be back in a bit. Hi, so here after the um, login details page and showing us the same loading screen again, so. We don't really want to use online speech recognition right now, just want to click stuff, so nope. I'm going to find my device on the PC anymore. Basic, this is the tracking information for Microsoft. I do recommend you go on basic because I don't really want Microsoft tracking all the time to find services, so just click accept. Nope, do not have a pen. Nope. Nope. I don't really want the whole cookies business. Alright, nope. I'm going to go ahead and click nope. Alright, so... We are pretty much done guys. This is the end of the Windows 10 installation process. I uh, hope you learned something new and I'll, I'll probably be publishing how to install the ISO file onto a PC and create bootable media. But um, for the meantime, this is it and yeah, it's telling us hi and getting everything ready for you. So that is the full Windows 10 installation guide from SN2808S.